Hey, what's up guys? It's Kyle Jones, Jones Sport Fishing. Hey, it is a little bit before five in the morning here on Wednesday, the 17th of August, down here in Astoria, fishing buoy tan. Um, can I say this fishery has just been incredible so far this year, lots of fish, weeding through quite a few to get our hatchery fish, but uh, I don't know, the point to come down here is to catch big kings and to catch a bunch of them. So <clears throat> that's what we're up to. Anyway, so today, um, as you can see, it's very dark. Um, we're gonna start early, we're gonna start right at daylight, and we are going to run over to the Washington side. Today I'm prop, yesterday I started in that middle ditch, and I don't know, it's not really my jam. Usually I go clear up by the top of the blind channel and come down shipwreck and along the sands over there. So that's what I think I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna run up to the blind channel, and I'm gonna start trolling down and I'm gonna see where I find fish. And uh, yeah, hopefully I find a pile of them and we'll make a few passes up there and we get all of our Chinook. If not, I'm gonna kind of follow them down and kind of try to fish that bite that happened yesterday in the deep water headed out toward the fort. The current's not supposed to run out as hard today. So um, it's, gonna, it's gonna get to the point where it's not sucking those fish as far down into the estuary. So. Um, with that said, a lot of those fish will start hanging in that deep water instead of getting sucked out. So we'll, uh, we'll probably just follow those fish, see where they, see where they go. And then, um, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see if the current push is hard enough for us to hold on the incoming or if, uh, we need to troll with it. Either way, we're going to do our best to find a bunch of fish and see what happens. So anyway, guys, we'll check back with you later. Uh, have a blessed day. God bless guys. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's me again. What's up? Um, so today, just want to recap. It's late. I'm tired. Um, just want to recap what happened today. So, I'm gonna start this by saying we had an absolutely fantastic day today. Um, we got kind of everything that Buoy Ten is known for. We had like a decent bite. And then a, a long, slow stretch, and then an unbelievable lights out bite. And then we finished our day and we had a rough ride in. I mean, it was just pretty much like everything that you expect when you come down here happened today. We caught Chinook, we caught Coho, um, we killed, we got, we killed Chinook, we killed Coho, uh, and a couple of guys that were totally limited out with either two, two Coho or Kings and Coho. And so, I mean, killer day. But let me talk to you a little bit about how it went and what happened. So all this happened and I missed a, about an hour, prob an hour at least of high tide. I didn't get bit for like an hour. I started out, I ran all the way to the top of the blind channel thinking, man, that, that thing's up. There hasn't been a good push of fish up there yet. This has got to be the moment that, hey, this, I love catching fish up there in 20 feet of water. It's probably my absolute favorite thing when it's rocking and rolling because they just, they burn off an incredible amount of line. They have nowhere else to go but away from you and it's awesome. But man, I got up there and the water temperature was 70 degrees and there were no fish, there was no bait. And so I dropped, I started trolling. I thought, well, shoot, I'm going to run into fish somewhere and then about three quarters of the way down to shipwreck I finally called a buddy and was like hey what's going on why are, are you into fish and he was fishing closer to the bridge he's like yeah there's fish down here and so I jumped out down and out a little further toward kind of the middle of the I don't know the middle toward the bottom in the middle ditch dropped in and boom we started hooking fish and there were fish on pretty much all over the place for a while. I mean, it, it was really, really good. We released some shorts. We had a big wild upriver bright. And then um, as that tide started, we only had that for like a pass and a half because as that tide started to rip out in that area of the river where it falls off into that deep water it, and there's boats and on that alco, it gets really, really rough and it's super uncomfortable to fish there. And even though there were still some fish there, we jumped down below the bridge. And we kind of just kept trolling and we, we were in the deep water, fishing suspended like I have been, and we started hooking fish again. Um, and then I made a couple more laps on those. We were doing really, really well. Released some shorts, got a nice keeper, missed some, lost some, and then that 70 degree water sucked out and hit. 
and that died. Those fish moved down with it. And uh, that's kind of when the grind session for us started. It was, it, the, the water was really, really rough there for a while out in front of the fort. And I just kind of kept trying to come back up and see if I could resurrect that bite. Um, I really couldn't. And so, yeah, that was just sort of what was going on. And uh, eventually I just kept trolling out and I eventually started marking fish near the, pretty much out low tide, started the incoming, started marking a pile of fish out in front of Chinook. And then as that incoming, I couldn't get a bite. There were some fish getting caught on the outgo. They were, you know, I was marking a lot of fish deep. I tried to fish deep, didn't get them. And then as that tide started to push in and you could watch that salt water come up in the column, I brought my gear back up to my normal numbers, running like 25, 30, 35. <coughs> and we started whacking them. It was unreal. Um, we couldn't hardly keep lines in the water. My rods at 35 were getting hit the most, and so I dropped everything into that. I was running my 20s at 30, my middle rods at 32, my back rods at 35, and so I was running everything right in that same zone, and we started getting fish after fish, losing them. We had doubles. Um, we got one away from a seal. I mean, it was just an incredible day, and that fishing continued for a while, and then that eventually died, and it was time for us to roll, so we headed out, and uh, you know, just an amazing, an amazing day. But, you know, it's weird this year, and I know um, some other guys have talked about it, but these fish seem to be hanging further down than normal. They're not flooding as far up. And I think it's it's because, you know, the super hot weather inland has that water in the Columbia, you hit it, it's 70, 72. And so those fish, man, they are just not really that keen on getting up in there and wanting to be up and ready to head up river. So they're flushing out, but the estuary is absolutely stuffed full of fish. Lots and lots of Chinook, lots of coho. I mean, this, this is this is one of the better buoy 10 seasons as of right now that I've seen in the last couple of years. Whether we have more fish than we have in the past or if the conditions are just better for them to hang in the estuary, I don't know. But fishing has been really, really good. And so we're just gonna ride this train until it ends. But uh, anyway, guys, that's report for today. Tomorrow, I am probably not. I'm going to start. There'll still be some incoming there. So I probably, I mean, I might drop below the bridge and troll up to the bridge. I got bit really good at high slack the other evening out there right below the bridge. So maybe I'm going to try to time that up. I don't know. I'm going to kind of see how it feels. But I'm definitely not running all the way up to the top of the blind channel. I mean, maybe tomorrow there'll be fish up there. But uh, I don't know. It was an awesome day. What did you think, Henry? Yeah, it was an awesome day. Yeah, so anyway, guys, just God bless. I want to appreciate you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. I hope some of this stuff is helping. Oh, those that hoochie spinner was killer again today. I'm going to run all hoochie spinners tomorrow. I, I mean, I'm not going to mess around with anything else. So anyway, guys, hopefully this is helping out. Make sure that you subscribe. We do reports throughout the year. We Everywhere we fish, once we get done with Buoy 10, they change the weekly reports, but... We've got reports coming. Um, we have lots of updates. We try to share a lot of information with you guys. So anyway, God bless you guys. Be safe out there and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.